Hi, my name is Sarah. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to join the family. I promise you, you're not going to regret it. Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. It's a girl, sorry again. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few reasons why Congolese men prefer to date South African women instead of Congolese women when they move here in South Africa. So without wasting your time, guys, if it's the first time watching my video and you like what you're seeing so far, please consider subscribing to the channel. After doing so, leave it on the comment down below. Say and subscribe for me to give you a warm welcome to the family and just thanking you for choosing to be part of this family. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it's really help with the YouTube algorithm. And it's also help for other people to see this video as well so please help your sister for other people to see the video so without wasting your time guys let's go to the reason why you click the this video so a few reasons why Congolese men prefers to date South African women or Zimbabwean or just someone who's not a Congolese when they move to a foreign land or when they move here in South Africa guys so first of all I am a Congolese myself I live here in South Africa it's been quite some time since I moved here in South Africa and yeah that's a bit of that about me for those who don't know me okay so everything that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today it's not something that I just invented or thought of no it's something that exactly Congolese men told us why they prefer dating people who are not Congolese when they move to like when they come when they go outside the country outside Congo okay so first when it comes to Congolese women you know Congolese women we have this thing I don't know if I should call it um, old style or it's just the way we are with Congolese women when you tell them that you like them you want them to date you most of them they're not gonna tell you on the spot like yes I like you too and yes I want you to be my boyfriend too they don't do that Congolese women we have this thing that if this person comes to me and tell me they like me I will tell them that let me think about it even if in my mind deep down I love you I like you I've been loving you since the first time I saw you but the day that you are going to approach me I'm not gonna tell you that I've been liking you since the first time like I find you cute type of things we always gonna tell you like mm, okay um, can you just maybe give me like some time let me just think about it you know like we love doing that like we we love 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 doing that give me some time to think it can be a day or two or three even if i already said yes in my mind like in my mind you are my boyfriend but i just need those few days to tell you that yes we can date right but when we move here when congolese men move here in south africa here it's a little bit different here it's a little bit different when someone likes you a man or a female when let's say a female likes you they will come to you straight they will tell you like oh you're so cute i love you oh i like you and like they are honest with their feelings like they are straightforward and men love it like congolese men they die for it like be like yo this one is so brave and it, she finds me cute and she got the audacity to come and tell me they'll go for it they love it and when themselves they like you they come to you tell you that they like you they are very easy going and if they like you back done it's a done deal you guys will start dating and everything is just easy so when they move here things are just like easy and people are expressing their feelings and they love it they go straight with a south african woman because it's much like they express their feelings from from the start like if they love them they, they express us they tell them you're cute i want you to be my boyfriend like i like you and stuff like that with us congolese even when congolese moves here in south africa or they go wherever they go that thing we still have it in us like we still have it the only congolese woman who goes like straightforward and stuff mostly it's those who comes here when they're like very very young and those who like are born here it's very few of those who like came here when they are old enough understand things that they will go yes first time it's very easy it's very very difficult and man congolese men when they move here they don't like it anymore they will tell you guys they will tell us congolese that you guys are full of yourselves like you full of yourselves what do you think who do you think you are so we don't want that we, we will go for those who like they like us they want us go for them that's one of the reason the first reason why congolese men they prefer south african women instead of 
Congolese women when they move here in South Africa. And the second thing is, once you guys started dating, let's say Congolese men and Congolese women are dating, right? You guys are dating for a year or two years, whatever. Like, it's very, it's very rare. Like, very rare for a Congolese man and a woman to just like move in together and the parents are okay and you guys are staying together. Yes, I'm not saying they don't do that. There's a lot of that here. Like people are like now starting to move together and all that. Let me tell you one thing for sure. The couples that you are seeing are moving together. Congolese, Congolese men, Congolese women are staying together. I bet their family don't know. They are family back home they don't know because it's a shame to us you can't be staying with a man if that man is not a, your husband not even a fiance your husband that man must marry you and Congolese women they know it for sure that here if my family just found out that I'm staying with a man who's not my husband back home you will see them having family meetings it's gonna be a huge deal it's gonna be a big thing like <laughs> It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge because it's something to us. It's a shame, like you are staying with the man who's not your husband. They'll make it a big deal. Like they'll make it a big deal. But here, if you're dating with a South African woman, okay, guys, please keep in mind I'm not generalizing. Okay. Most of the people when you guys are dating, all this I'm saying it's the culture. Like it's things that here it's normal to us it's not normal that's what i'm trying to say okay so here when people are dating and they know you to your they know the boyfriend to your family and you they know you to the man's family and when you guys decide it's like something that people are very happy to hear like when a man asks you can you move in with me it's like something they're asking you can you marry me like it's not something to be proud of. Like to here, it's something that most people. It's something that they're very proud of. My my boyfriend asked me to move in with him. Like oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. Like you know, like okay, it's not some of the relationships after moving in and then they start planning to get married and then they get married. Life is good, great. That's good. Nothing wrong because that's something that you guys believe. Just that in Congo, it's some. It's a shame. Like it will be a big deal back home. They will create drama. Like it is drama. Okay, that's a bit of that. <laughs> so another thing, the last one is in Congo. When you marry a Congolese, just know that your man, he's your responsibility and your family of course it's not gonna be every single thing that the family needs your man must provide to them but just know that when your family will talk to you they're talking to you because they know that you are married you have a man and the man must also help yes it can i think it's also the same not only congolese even here it's also the same but in congolese it's something that you know already that my wife's family they are 50% my responsibility, you know. They are 50% my responsibility. So that's one thing with us Congolese women. And when men move their side or they move overseas, they try to like change their behavior and change their ways of doing things. That's why they prefer going to non-Congolese women because they don't want to like continue with that type of things you know what i'm trying to say and one thing with us congolese we are so proud of who we are and the way we we behave and the things that we do it's very rare for us to change those type of things because it's deep in us like it's it's us you know so that's why even when we go overseas you will see congolese women are exactly the same like they don't really change much they can change here and there but deep down behaviors and when it comes to relationship so yeah guys that's a bit of that when it comes to congolese men preferring to date south african women instead of congolese women when they move overseas or when they come here okay so yeah guys thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any question please leave it on the comment down below so yeah thank you guys i will see you on my next video